Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your boy DJ Omanaya right here. Taste Radio, Dash Radio, El Colmado Show. I got my man Shaka in the building. What's up, my brother? Yo, what's up, my brother? Thank you for having me, El Colmado, DJ Omanaya. Let's get it. Yes, sir, man. Listen, I got one of the hottest, hottest, hottest artists in the Latin urban world, man. Let them know where you're from, bro. I'm from the BX, man. My, my family's Dominican, but I was I was born and raised in New York. I'm from the Bronx. Bronx, New York, man. And one of the hottest in the streets doing this uh, Latin urban rap stuff. A lot of people been comparing you to some big rappers, man. Like, you know, they saying like you like a Latin version of Nas. You know, you know, you could do the trap shit too. So, you know, how you feel about that with the comparisons and stuff? I mean, that's, I mean, you get compared to it. I've heard people calling me Spanish Nah, Spanish J. Cole. That's that's a blessing, man. I mean, I look up to those people since, especially Nas. You know, I grew up on Nas, man. I feel like Nas is my family. I be telling I be telling people that they be telling me I be bugging out because I be like, yo, I feel like I know Ho and Nas, <laughs> and I don't even know them. <laughs> yeah, nah, that's, it, that's a beautiful thing, man. You able to connect with an artist like that and, um, yeah. you know, help you, inspire it, you, and motivate you to make music. Is, is that one of the reasons why you started rapping? Because listening to Nas and Jay, Jay Cole and all that stuff? I mean, I, 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 I could say one of them. Um, mm. One of the biggest reasons was my brother, my big brother. He always used to listen to uh, video music box in the night. Um, okay, um, yeah, Back yeah, in the yeah, day, yeah. Bronx, that shit. Um, mm -hmm. um, BET and all that. And when I was young, I didn't really understand the lyrics of the music i just i just like the rhythm and the hook like basically like right, like right. females listen to songs you know yeah, yeah yeah um and um and then i started when i started understanding it and and there was a, my, my 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 government name is edward okay so 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 i fell in love with special ed that, uh -huh. that yeah i got it made so that was one of my favorite all-time <laughs> that's one of the and, hardest records yo man i remember that yeah, so then I was like, I, you know, I started liking him. I, I, I liked the song overall, but just because he was he was Ed and I was Edward, I was like, oh shit! Right, right. That's your answer. Some yeah, some type <laughs> of weird connection there. And 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 when I started understanding the lyrics, that's when I fell in love with the with the with the art. And I, I had a cousin of mine that he used to he used to rap as well. And every time my mother used to we used to go to um to my aunt's house. He used to be in a cipher with, with his boys in, in, oh, in yeah. his room, smoking, drinking, and I'll and I'll be the seven year old fucking around with the older dude. Yeah, you wasn't intimidated. Not at all, man. Yeah, I, that's, I was that's crazy. I was like, yeah, I was actually intrigued. Like I was like, yeah, like let's get it, you know. And I try rapping. They always used to make fun of me or whatever. Um, one day I tried it. I tried to write a verse, mm -hmm. and I didn't know what sixteen bars was. So right. I thought the I thought the verse was like fill up fill up the whole side of the page from top to bottom. I thought that was the <laughs> Boy, verse. That's probably a song <laughs> right there. <laughs> it worked. So that's how it started for me, man. And 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 here I am today, man. Just you know, going home, going ham. So you say like you started rapping like seven, eight years old, just writing raps and stuff. I started writing. I say like around 12, 13, okay. but. That's but when you I first fell in love with it was like around seven, eight. You start listening, to yeah. big brothers, cousins, all that. That's yeah, it was basically yeah. You know, I I used to play Wu Tang like my my brother used to collect Wu Tang albums, and and I just come with the like it was just it was just the rhythm like I yeah, didn't that's the golden that. era. They call that the golden era. So if you you got inspired by that era, you know that's that's big. So say yeah, like you know moving forward like. Around 12, 13, you start writing, right? When when did you realize, like, y'all want to go in the studio and make a song? Okay, so when I started recording, I I, I recorded it in a boombox, right? <laughs> and 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 one of the speakers was the mic. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It was yeah, it yeah. was that little trick where you put the little napkins on the on the on the top of the yeah, yeah. on the, the tweeter box. Little on the uh -huh. yeah, so you already know that's how I started recording, <laughs> but. That shit sounded horrible, but I right. still used to listen to it on my tape play or whatever. Mm -hmm. And and um one day um um I started rapping with this kid that they used to call him July, like 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 the month, whatever. Yeah. And um so we made a duo and, and one day we decided just to like write us write two or three songs and like just record a demo and go somewhere. And, and um 
and we met up with with this dude named DC. He had a he had a, a studio in Fordham over there in the Bronx, mm -hmm. and we we pulled up on him, and he basically schooled us. You know, basically you know told us what to do. He uh, basics, right? I, yeah, I started understanding Fruity Loops. Okay. Um, um, you know the breakdown, like like he mm -hmm. he basically schooled us into like. You know, like the terms in a track. Right. We Count didn't know bars, none of that. hooks, and all that. Bread. All of that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so yeah. he broke it down, and you know, I started getting a little, a little more um, um, acquainted with 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 the music language, and right, from right. you know, from from there it was a rap. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you've been doing your homework, man. So yeah. like, say like a question of mine too. Like a lot of people ask me, like where where did you get that name from, Shaka? Shaka, um. All right, so when I was a little kid, I you um from like seven. Well, I, I might say from like uh, I lived in New York. I mean, in DR periodically, right? Mm -hmm. So like around nine, um, I was like around nine, and and Shaq used to still play for the for Magic. the Magic. Yeah, yeah. So the announcer every time that he used to say, every time that that um that Shaq used to dunk. They used mm -hmm. to be like, boo shaka laka laka, boo uh, shaka laka. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so I just started saying that, and my cousin started calling me shaka laka. And then, and then, you know, when I when I when I started taking the art serious, I started looking for the meaning of shaka. And then mm -hmm. I, I bumped into Shaka Zulu book. Right. So, so you know, I fell in love with his story, how he was a, a warrior prince, how they won hundreds of battles. And I was like, damn, that's me. Like, like I'm, 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 I'm the one that beats the obstacles. Right. You know, I'm, I'm right. the one that goes through, through whatever fucked up situation I go through, and I come out of it victorious. So then that's when I said, shock. You know, it makes sense. Ill. That's ill. You see, like a lot of people always have a crazy story on how they got their name. That's why I was like, because you said your name was Edward. I was like, how did he get Shaka? Like, you know what yeah. I'm so I always ask people that, you know, when they got that, you know, a different type of rap name. So now with the whole music thing, it's like, like when you were learning and early on in your in your life and your career, when you were learning about music, were you always rapping in Spanish? Because I know Spanish rap and Latin trap is getting real big right now. Um, a lot of people started out English and then went to Spanish because they were bilingual. Uh, yeah. Were you always bilingual? Did you always rap both, or you know, you just you was like, you know what, let's turn it up. I mean, I've always been, I've always, I've always been able to to speak good English because you know I was born over there, or whatever. But um, <clears throat> but um, I really fell in love with like Spanish lyrics, like well, like I told you, like listening to my cousin. Um um um, I, I used to be a big fan of of the Denoise compilations and Playero and Guatavua yeah, yeah, yeah. and all that. Uh -huh. From Puerto Rico, or whatever. And right. There was this rapper um, named Cavalucci. He used to rap with two mics in the in the in the in, on stage. What? And then, like you know, it's just like the way he was rhyming and shit. I was like, yeah, I want to sound. I want to do what he do. So, yeah. so it was it was basically like it was weird because I you I, I was usually listening to English music like rap and mm -hmm. R and B or whatever, but I was doing Spanish rap. You see what right. I'm saying? Okay. And 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 in different interviews, like I like, they found that weird. They'd be like, "Damn, like you don't listen to Spanish music." I'd be like, "Yeah, I listen to it, but I mostly listen to English music. I just mm -hmm. rap in Spanish." Right. You know? Right. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now, <clears throat> let me ask you, you know, besides Nas and, and like the J Cole thing, you know, like the older rappers, is there anybody you listen to within like the last five years that kind of inspired you? To, to start going towards a certain style of music or, you know, style of rap? Or you just always kept, like, that style you got from early on when you first started rapping? No, no. I I, I sound way different from when I, from, like, back in the day. Like, I was basically, I was basically finding my flow. You know what I mean? Right, like, right. Like, I've always, I've always said that what makes an artist authentic is when they sound original. You know what I mean? Exactly. Like, no, nobody sounds like me. So any every time somebody want to listen to me, they're gonna have to go to me because nobody sounds like me. You know what right. I mean? Right. So, so I was always looking for that. Like, I, I you know, I, I, I peeped that off of Bob Marley, DMX, Lauren Hill, Jay, Biggie, mm. Nas. Like, it, it was just like you could right just, there. 
Yeah, you could just, you could just, as soon as you hear they voice, they voice their name is in your in your head. You know what I mean? So that's basically what it was at the beginning. At the beginning, like I said, you know, I used to be a big Nas fan, um, Biggie, Wu Tang, Hov. So I was always into like, into like making the the listener think to what okay. I was saying. So you was like really like thinking about lyrics and exactly bars so, and all that. Yeah. So so as as music developed into into every artist dumbing it down, you know, sounding like like they ain't got no fucking education. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you know, I, 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 I was looking for that sound where I wasn't too lyrical, but then again, not too basic. Right. So you gave them a little something, but didn't want to lose people. You kind of yeah, like, because, you dumbed you know, it down a little bit for them. In a way, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I always, I always, every time I make music, like you listen to my song, I'm always saying something. All you got to do is just pay attention. You know what I mean? Right. Like, I, I'm, I'm not just rhyming on the paper. Put it like that. A lot of people just put words together because they sound dope. Mm -hmm. But I put them together because they say something dope. You know what right. I mean? So you you telling a story or you know you putting it together? I got you. Mhm. Mm so that's why I'm at with it. So so then you know I develop you know um um the style that I have today. Basically, basically when you listen to me, you you is is unpredictable. I could I could mm -hmm. go ham. I could dumb it down. I, I could go I could go at any level. Put it like that. Like right. I I, I've, I always thank God for that because I'd be like damn like. Like I could rap to a bachata, my nigga. Like, like that's like, ill. See, the the versatility <laughs> is saying? always is always a big thing. That's why, like, you know, artists like Drake are so successful because he he pretty much did every genre, like Afro beats, bachata, reggae, reggaeton, hip hop, R and B. Like he's done it all. So, you know, to be versatile is always a, a good thing. Um, yeah. So, say like with the the Latin trap world or Latin urban world. You ever done any uh, reggaeton or dembow records? Yeah, yeah, I, I've I've recorded two dembow um, with artists from DR, mm -hmm. and um, and um, I've done reggaeton. Yeah, like like when I when I one of my first um, recorded records professionally was reggaeton. You know, because that was okay. that was what was popping back in the day or whatever. But um. But it's always been rap for me. Like, I mean, not rap, but mostly it's been, you know, hip hop. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And like, speaking of, um, you know, DR and PR, do you feel like um, the artists from the US or wherever outside of PR and DR, you think they have good relationships or, you know, do you feel like there's like boundaries, you know, because the music, some people on this side of the border feel like, yo, we started it here. And then, you know, in DR and PR, they like, no, we started it here. And, you know, do they accept the artists in these countries or, you know, places like Puerto Rico, um, you know, wh who are making the same type of music? Or you feel like there's like a boundary with that? I feel there's, there's, there's some type of wall that, that, that's built around, like, and they, and they let certain people in, like, whoever, whoever, let's say somebody from New York is popping right now. Yeah, they're gonna open doors because they see like damn, like it's beneficial right now. It's, this motherfucker getting a million views in three days. So yeah, let's get it. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Right, right. But overall, yeah, I feel like there's there's some type of there's some type of like blockage, you know, in, in mm -hmm. between be, between movements. I'm not even gonna call it genres, just movements. Like, right. You know, because we do we do Spanish music, but since the Spanish language has got so many countries. You know what I mean? Like, like, it's like speaking Spanish that, yeah. And, and I feel like, 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 yeah, they, 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 they fuck with you if they see that there's benefit or, or they're, they're, you're talented enough to develop into that. You know what I mean? It's right. just, it's, it's just like, like music is music, but sometimes people make it look like it's science. You know what I mean? Right. So let me ask you so, this on, on like speaking on that. Do you do you uh, on a person on like your personal opinion? Do you think um, that's messed up that they're building a wall around it, or do you look at it on the business side like they feel like oh you know if it's not benefiting us why are we gonna help them? You know because in, in actuality this is what record labels do. Not saying that yeah. it's okay, but this is what record labels do. You know if you they don't feel like you're gonna make them back thirty million dollars, they like why will we sign him? 
Well, to be honest, um, I don't think it's fucked up. I mean, it, it has some somewhat of a fucked up um, feeling to it, if you really, th- if, like deep down. But honestly, that's really a way of motivating the artist, or you know what I'm saying? Like basically, yeah, like, oh, right? okay, yeah. So, so I have to do this for you to for you to for you to pay attention to what I'm doing. I right. so you see what I'm saying? So I look right, at right. it as motivation. I don't really look at it like, yo, that's fucked up, niggas. Is, I don't focus on that. You know what I mean? I look at it like, yeah. oh, I, right, you want me to prove you wrong? Check me out. Right. You know so- what I mean? Has there been any artists, say like from DR, who maybe reached out to you, like, "Yo, let's work, let's connect"? Yeah, or, you know, yeah, right. yeah, many, many of them, yeah, many of them. Yeah. Okay, so you got you got that respect there. That's good, because you know yeah. a lot of times, like some of these artists, they're like, "Nah, I ain't reaching out." Like, let him reach out if he want to work. But that's good that you know they got that respect for you. Um, yeah. So I wanted to know, like, um, with that stuff, uh, do you have any projects coming up? Anything you're working on right now? Yeah, yeah, I got a, I got a, I got a five track demo that I'm, I mean, a five track EP that I'm doing now. Um, title is 23. Okay. Um, it's called 23 because that's, that's, that's my birthday. My, that's my birthday. Um, it, uh, my birthday, November 23rd. Mm-hmm. Um, um, I feel like I got a connection with that number. Um, I've always been a Jordan fan. I, I, I've always been a LeBron fan. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. The um, um, yeah, that's just like my lucky number. And, and so much that my son's name is Jordan. So you already know. <laughs> that's, that's big right there. <laughs> yeah. That's what's man. up. All right. So, so uh, yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. So I got that going on. Um, um, I'm about to drop a new single called Binoculare, which is binoculars in Spanish. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And um, produced by my boy Canelo, Canelo Music. He's super producer, man. And he he kind of he kind of paused for a minute you know and and now he's back with it and you know he's super dope bro i i, I be saying that he's like the dominican dre bro to yeah. be honest man he's Ill yeah like that. he's yeah he's so, that hot um, um i was going to say I'm so sorry? like with with the beat stuff do you do you prefer like a trap sound or do you prefer more like of a you know like a hip hop boom bap sound well i i fell in love with the you know with the what was going on now trap drill i love mm-hmm. drill because because i feel like drill it, it is rap it's just like right it, it, it sounds like hype but it's still rap because you can yeah. you can actually rap to it you know mm-hmm. what i mean yeah so i i'm fucking with the drill i like the drill sound heavy so with mm-hmm. like speaking on drill like and the latin drill scene uh, this is an argument people have all day long where where do you think it started the what? The Latin drill? Yeah, the Latin drill, Latin trap. You know, like rhyming on the like the South beats or the Chicago type beats or you know that UK drill type sound. I mean, I don't really like talking about who started it or who pioneered because honestly, like I've I've realized that that a lot of people been focusing on that. You know what I'm saying? Like they yeah. want that that they want that credit so bad. Like oh, I started this. I was the one who did this and i'll be like damn but let's say you started something but your shit is trash right right so what (laughs) what was it that you did because yeah because because i I probably did a second but if i did it better than what that means yeah you know what i mean it's it's a conversation i've had with a few people and you know a lot of people always say they've been inspired by you know chief keith or you know a lot of people before them with the with the trap sound so you know like did you really start it or you just started doing it in spanish but yeah, cause you know, that's, that's shout what, out that, to everybody doing the thing. No, no, for for sure, for sure, for sure. I, but I, I just be saying, like, come on, man. Like, when we do Latin trap, when we do Latin drill, we do Latin hip hop. It could it could be whatever Latin. We gotta understand that it originated in English. We just we just mm-hmm. flipped it into into another language, but it's still right. the same art. You know what I mean? Yep, that's a fact. So when I, so when people say, "Oh, the first one that did this in Spanish," I'd be like. That that's that's it sounds retarded because you just <laughs> you just you just listened to what you, what you was doing in English and did it in Spanish. That don't mean that you pioneered it. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's true. So now let me ask you, like, what's your project? Um, is there anybody on there that's going to be featured on there? We should look out for. Um, well, right now I'm I'm working on the remix for La de Salsa. I don't really want to say who's going to be in it. Okay. Because because I did that I did that before and then and the artist didn't come through so now yeah, it's yeah, basically yeah. like 
Now it's basically like, you know, I'm doing I'm doing a remix with, with other artists, but until I have that on wax, I'm not even gonna call it. Right, until it's I do, recorded I, I, and all I, that. Yeah, I do got some features though coming though. Okay, Fishing dope, drinks. dope, dope. Mm-hmm. All right, bet. So man, um just let the people know where they could find you at, where they could follow you, your YouTube and all that stuff and what you got coming up. Yeah, you could you could follow me at on, on IG, Yo Soy Chaka, C H A C K A. Yo Soy Chaka, I am Chaka. Um, on YouTube, all you gotta do is put Chaka, C H A C K A. Um, Facebook, um, Yo Soy Chaka as well. Twitter, the same thing. You already know. Um, um, subscribe to my channel, man. Need that subscription, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And when when can you look you forward know? to that EP? Oh, um, I say like, I say like, Juneish. June, you know what I mean, like June yeah. 23rd. So, you said <laughs> probably, probably. I, I, I'm, I'm, we might just do that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That sounds good, man. That sounds good, man. All right, my brother. I appreciate you for coming through El Colmado show. Make some noise for my man Chaka. We're gonna get into his Yo. new joint, Lata de Salsa, right here on El Colmado show. Taste Radio, Dash Radio, DJ Omanaya. Let's get it. Shout out, shout out El Colmado. You already. My brother DJ Omenaya, thank you for having me. Yes, sir. Appreciate the love. Look out for Vinoculare coming soon. Subscribe to my to my channel. Lata de Salsa Remix on the way. You already know we 